was telling you how you shouldn't drink and drive or text and drive. What they neglect to tell you is that you shouldn't eat and drive. My name is William Wallace, and I'm going to tell you about the time I learned not to eat and drive. Back in the summer of 2014, I worked for a man who sold coffee and other sorts of snacks to local stores. My job was to organize the coffee by type and reorganize it by its sell-by date. Well, one day, after a long, sweaty day of rotating coffee, my boss finds a box of M&M's that was past its sell-by date. He asked me if I want a pack, and I said sure, because who doesn't like M&M's? I thank him, get in my truck, and head home. To get home, I drive along a curvy, two-lane road called Old Lebanon Dirt Road. So I was driving, I was listening to music and eating the M&M's. I tilted my head back to get a good mouthful of them, when suddenly, BANG! Glass shatters, M&M's fly everywhere, it was a mess. I glanced to my right and realized I have no side mirror. You see, what had happened was that as I was taking that mouthful, my hand on the steering wheel edged just enough to the right to swerve my truck, swipe the telephone pole, and leave my side mirror behind. I was so shaken up I had to pull over in a nearby neighborhood just to compose myself. I, was, I just kept thinking, if it was only a couple more inches, it could have been worse. Well, anyways, I composed myself and made it home, and then a couple weeks later, I had a new side mirror. In conclusion, you should always focus on the road, because you really don't want to clean melted M&Ms out of your car. Thank you.